题人物，对号入座，坐哪里？球场第一排。哎，这集邀请那个男人太狠了。的那个男人，我们邀请桃园普元领航员的总教练 Camino 卡帅。How to pronounce your first name? Iurgi. Iurgi. Good. Iurgi. No. He did it good. Iurgi. 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 Yeah. Iur. How nice. Iurgi. Yeah, that's it. It's a rare Spanish name. Uh, I mean, my name is not Spanish like as a Spanish is Basque. Uh, okay. In my region, we have two languages. Some regions in Spain have different languages. So we know Basque is a very special place. That I have a Google that you 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 born place Basque. Basque. How to pronounce that Basque? In English, it's Basque. Uh -huh. In our language, it's Euskadi. Euskadi. E Euskadi. 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 Yeah. A Basque is on the borderline. From the France to to the Spain, right? Yeah, I mean, the, there's a part of France, this south part of France, like some small small towns. They speak Basque too. They have their family names and everything is around the Basque language. Because Basque 这个地方就是去去资料所示啊，它就是米其林餐厅最密集的一个区，对，人人都是厨神。对。<laughs> so are you foodie? Yeah, I mean, it's in our culture. For everything that we. Have to celebrate or everything is around a table in lunch or dinner. So everything is around food. Uh, and uh, the real thing is, for example, when, I, when it's my birthday, I used to go to the supermarket. I buy food, and I used we used to go to some places that we can cook by ourselves, like on a big kitchen, and cook for my friends. And it's what we used to meet, not going for a restaurant to cook, to spend the time that we are cooking at the same time, drinking something, talking. And then we enjoy the food that、uh, that we cook. 很特别，跟台湾很不一样。因为台湾话其实都会想到说，我们去外面找个餐厅吃饭，对对。他们就是他们去超级市场买东西，然后自己吃，自己煮，跟朋友一起聊天。其实是蛮蛮欧洲人，蛮蛮西班牙人享受生享受享受生活的方式。What is your special? Regular food, a lot of things, but special like the like some dessert, like the Basque cheesecake, but like, cheesecake. Yeah. Okay, you can homemade like handmade. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, always tastes better. Everything that is handmade tastes better. Here, there is a very special cafe, and they have bar here. Yeah. And they also provide dessert.、Mm -hmm. It's Basque cheesecake. This is handmade Basque. Basque. Yeah. Cheesecake. Looks good. Looks good. Let's taste. Yeah. Let's taste it. <laughs> Close. It's good, yeah. In the way that I like, is try to have less time on the oven, cook a little bit less, and have more liquid. The thing that you have to take is some kind of cheese, cream, eggs, and then this liquid. So if you have more time on the oven, get a little bit like this. You see here how it's like more burn. 这边做的，它会会比较湿润一点点。然后被它过分了，它外面 too much cook。啊，因为外面比较那个比较脆一点，比较脆一点，比较脆一点。I will talk with my team. Let's see if they can find me an oven to cook and try to cook one to to give you maybe to one game or something okay, okay. like this, and you can taste it. Basque 蛋糕，给大家吃，给大家吃，给大家吃。好，我们来期待一下。其实我我觉得在今年蛮特别的地方，是因为卡帅他其实带领球队，大家觉得像魔法师、魔术师一样，可以变出很多东西，变出很多这个很多京剧词汇这样。那其实我们也觉得他其实在生活上面，他是一个就是蛮有想法的人，就不是只有篮球。In our life, we can say that our life is on a table, and we need legs around him. If it's only basketball, there's only one leg, and the basketball is not going good. I mean, this table lose balance. So to be balanced on the life, you need to have not only your job, you need your family, you need your hobbies, and the, as much legs you have, this table is going to be more stable. Actually, we don't have many coaches from from Europe. Tell us what's the The main thing you want to bring up to to the team. Spain actually is world champion and is European champion,、yeah. and Spain don't have the most athletic players. They don't have the best shooters. They don't have the most skilled players. But the thing that we work a lot in Spain is the is try to have good decision makers. It's about read the game、okay. and take good decisions.、Uh, okay. Main of the reasons that, for example, Spain won the last EuroBasket and Spain was ranked like eighth before the EuroBasket. Uh, was Greece with Antetokounmpo, Serbia with Djokic.、Uh, every team have like some star. France with Rudy、star. Gobert.、Yeah. Spain didn't have any superstar on that team. The real thing is, as a team, Spain compete better than nobody. Because finally, this is a game with five guys 
and there's one ball to share, we have to try to, the players don't have to be thinking on the game. They have to be reading and react. Mm -hmm. And as much you repeat situations during the week on the practice and much you show to the players, look, if the defense come here, go there, boom. If they go to the other side, go to here. And slowly try to create players able to read what happened on the floor and take the best decisions. These decisions are mixed with their skills or their abilities. Show to them, hey, look, you are good on this. Mm -hmm. You can do this. Don't try this because it's not the, your best skill. Oh, so go to the, okay. it's not, don't do this. It's okay. go looking for your best spot, for example, for shooting. Uh, try to read the game to feel where you can really help the team. Let's take it, an easy pom -pom. example, like Pom Pom. Pom Pom is playing really well this season compared to the, the first two seasons mm -hmm. in the league. How do you find his strength in, in the game? He showed me on practice. I arrived early to the season and I have enough time to let the players show in their skills and what they can do. You put an example of Pom Pom. A lot of these things, he knew it before. So we are not teaching him to pass on the way that he passed. This is a talent that he has. The shooting, he has the ability to shoot in. Obviously, I'm trying to put on the situation that he can take good shots. So there are six teams here, and each team has its own special area. Mm. How do you see the, the palace in the league? How do you position yourself, your team? From the beginning, uh, I had clear that maybe we are the team that can grow more during the season because we have younger players. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we have the idea of trying to be developing these players and try to make these players better because when they are better, team is better. At this moment, the feeling that I have with my players is I have a lot of players that I can use during the game because all of them can give me something different. I have a question for you. Just You had very different coach experience. You coach, you've coached the young national team mm -hmm. and also Spanish pro team mm -hmm. and also in Japan for mm -hmm. men's basketball team mm -hmm. and also women, mm -hmm. women basketball team. So how you manage the past experience into the, your team in Korea and coach? My first year in Japan was, uh, we can say like a shock because the culture and everything, how the, the team was managing is completely different than the things that you have in Spain. But this is your first experience to go Asia, right? Yeah. Wow, that's completely different. Like how different? Like When the, someone plays bad, they finish the game and they get shooting for a, another hour. I mean, you are not playing good. Go home and tomorrow is another day. But don't be shooting and saying to yourself, like, I did it bad, I did it bad, I did it bad. No, you did it bad. Forget. Let's go. Tomorrow, another day. The mistakes that you have before, you are not going to correct on a moment that you are frustrated. If you want to correct something, you need to clean your mind. But you know, in Japanese culture, if they're doing something bad, yeah. the thing they do is do, do more, the more practices. practices. But the problem is, nobody is teaching how to do better. Oh, okay. They only tell to you, hey, you are doing bad. But teach me. Okay. How can I do? So that's our job. Previous year experience here in Taiwan, compared to the things that you learned in Japan, what's the difference? For example, the feeling that I have uh, was in Japan is, uh, I remember if you go to do the pre-game uh, like um, a practice with the scouting, scouting yeah. oof, the players need to know this is A, this is B, this is C, like really everything has to be. Precisely. Yeah, if no, they really feel uncomfortable and like, hey, maybe I'm going to make a mistake. Taiwanese players are on this more mind open and more able to read. Something that I realized is I can help my players easily to understand, to read the situations and to take decisions and let them the options to be decision makers. Obviously, if I let you to take a decision and you don't take the best one, I'm not going to go like you, like, ah, you didn't know. Okay, this is not the best. So let's go to try it. I make mistakes every day, but I, I cannot stop because I made a mistake and start like, ah, oh, no, I made a mistake. No, it's okay, I made a mistake, let's go. Okay. And it's, it's keep going, trying to learn from the things that I did it bad before, and try to do the things better. In Japan, not only basketball, baseball, soccer, honestly, football. They need to schedule every life. Life, life is there's a line, yeah, 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 you yeah, have yeah. to follow the line. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, uh, if someone is going outside the line, they start looking like, hey, why are you doing outside the line? But the real thing is the 
the smart people used to go outside the line. Yeah, let's 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 pay. 哇，这哇，这教练姐对西班对这个亚洲文化，对，了解，看很多，看很多。I like when I have players. Like on the middle of the practice, they try to find some tricks to okay to rest a little bit. That's good because this means that you are being smart. And to play this game, you have to be smart. Okay.、Yeah. Because you have to understand that okay, this play is like this, but the opponents do the scouting, so I have to be smart enough to realize ah, okay, you want to steal the ball there, but I go there, there, boom, and I make you lay it. And it's really important to have a smart players and let them being creative. Do you, do you think Taiwanese players are smart? The, on the way that I'm coaching them, I, I realize that if you let them take decisions and you help them to take better decisions, they they, 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 really, they really want to take it. So, 听起来就是自信心这个东西是卡帅今年带给球队最多的。因为他让球员做很多的选择嘛，然后说选择不一定是错，可以犯错，没有可以犯错，可以犯错，而且这个选择不一定是错，可能有更好的选择。他的用法是这样，所以他不会说决完全否定做这个决决定嘛，他会让你帮助你去找到更好的一个选择。呃、uh, ，Talking about the atmosphere, yeah, we all think you're a very humor person.、Mm -hmm. I work with people. And、uh, I have to understand that my job. I I like to say a lot of times.、Uh, uh, and last year happened to me, especially. I mean, Sunny is my second year with him. He used to call me, "Hey, boss, boss." I like, "I no, no, no. I'm not your boss. <laughs> boss is a guy that said, 'You, hey, you have to do this.' I don't like the word boss because boss for me is like old style person saying to everybody what they have to do. I want to be a leader. I talk. I think that the first interview that I had with my team is talk about how important is to. Make my players feel happy when they go to practice. Okay. Because if you go to your job and not happy, your boss is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go there and work. But but me as a coach, I want my players fighting for me, helping each other. And when the team is going to the practice and having fun, and this having fun, you transform and practice hard. I think that it's easier to really. I don't want to say I don't like too much to use the word like win win. I'm saying to play good, because if you play good and if every day you play better, I don't know, but you are going to do something good.、Uh, last game in、uh, in Kaohsiung, I was close to be on a locker room in、uh, in Pongsan Arena, and I saw my players doing that selfie. Yep, and this was the moment that I really feel happy, but not for winning. They go for practice for something, and this something is more than winning. If you win a championship, you have one day that you win. But this long season of every day before, if it's good, always is better. It's like process.、Right? It's always a process, it's a process. But the real thing is, it's more important to enjoy the journey and understanding that the journey is today. And today I'm coming here and I'm trying to enjoy this. And tomorrow I have a practice again, and I want to be focused on this practice. And don't be thinking in nothing more. 好正向的人生观哦，好像好，这个拿回去对啊，每天重播哎，这这个提醒自己，这其实已经不是心灵鸡汤，它是就是示范给你看，就是他的生活态度是这样，希望你跟我一样，所以好多领航员球员都说今年球队的那个整个感觉跟。过去不太一样，可能因为我觉得过去也比较少，就是这样类型的的,的教练。We're talking about like so many different style、uh, of foreign coaches, like like Kyle Julius.、Mm -hmm. He's more like he's more like Spartans coach, like 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 Pat Riley, right? Yeah, Pat Riley. Like Pat Riley.、Uh -huh. And we have Ryan Marshall.、Mm -hmm. It's his Western like Western style, American style from、mm -hmm. California, and you from Europe from from Spain. You all have different styles of coaching philosophy, but. I, maybe it's more than coaching philosophy. Is how we are as a person, and uh, um, we used to say in Spanish like there are a lot of ways to go to arrive to Rome. So to the ways to be champion are a lot of ways to, and this everybody choose the way that he thinks that is better, and uh, all can be good. This game is about players, and they make basket. I'm not. I didn't make any single basket on this season. I didn't win any game. My players won that games. That's true. That as a coach, sometimes, and I accept, we can lose the games. We can take bad decisions. And my main goal is try to take as less bad decisions. And then I'm going to like pray, hope that my players, when they are alone, they are going to make the shots. <laughs> Uh, could you give me one thing that in your daily life or like your daily working 
process, mm. uh, the thing that you like the most and the thing you, you hate the most about your job? About my job? Yeah, give me one thing for each. Uh, because we are inside a competition is the challenge of every day, like talk with my assistant coaches about the, the game plan, what do you think about this player, what do you think if on this set we do this, how do you think if our offense we improve this. This is something like, because it's every day trying to improve, it's like a challenge. But the only thing that I really hate is when I have injury players, when I have people that don't can be enjoying on things that they want. This is the worst thing of the sport. I cannot enjoy because I have that player. Maybe my trainer is enjoying because he's working, but if my trainer don't know how to work, maybe, maybe because my trainer, maybe better. But I mean, this is, I'm saying joking, but the real thing is when you go practice and you see that some players cannot be there and cannot be helping and you cannot be helping them, is the real thing, like, that's the worst thing. 好，所以看球王第一排学领导。如果说你要你要加入一个公司或加入一个团队的话，看一下这个领导者是不是一个正向的人。如果整天抱怨、整天负能量的话，离开他，离开他。OK。I found one thing that you always repost the fans take on you on Instagram. Every post. I mean, hundred percent, hundred percent, because they are taking their day off, their free time. To, the, pre the precious time, right? Yeah. To go to support us. And yeah, but at the same time, it's going to be, I mean, now we are winning and it's good, but the days that we lose, they are coming to feel like, oh, we lose, we days, but don't make feel like they waste the time, that they come and, and uh, I really feel love it and I want to show to them like I really appreciate it. When you decide to become the basketball coach? Uh, when I was 18 and I finished uh, the high school uh, and I we leave the high school to uh, continue study, maybe because I wanted to earn some money at the same time I was continuing study, I just started coaching. And uh, the real thing is I never had in my mind to be a professional coach. Mm -hmm. I was uh, I, I finished the study, I was working and at the same time I was like coaching under 16, under 18 teams and uh, yeah. someone thought that I was good enough to start being assistant coach on a pro league. Oh, okay. So they offered me. I was not looking for that. I, there was not like a website to apply. No, it's like they called me it's like, hey, what do you think? We think that you can help us. So, Let's why, get a shot. Why, why not? not? Let's get why not? I mean, I like basketball. I like coaching. It can be, can be a way of life. And, earn the money. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a way of life because when you ask me about all these things with fans, obviously I'm grateful. Uh, would you give uh, some men that you ever cooperate with? First one maybe is one of my best friends is Pablo Prigioni. Now he's assistant coach in uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. He played for Argentina national team. He's the oldest rookie of NBA history. He played with Jeff Rears. It was really funny. I didn't know that. They played together on LA Clippers. And uh, maybe because my relation with him is really strong. When he was a player on the NBA, I went some summers to do workout with him. When he started coaching on Euroleague, I was assistant coach. Like Martelino Huertas, he played, he's the second oldest rookie on NBA history. He played for LA Lakers. These guys, they really teach me about uh, how is the real professional life, how a professional team moves. Uh, I don't know, Thiago Splitter, he was uh, uh, NBA champion with uh, uh, San Antonio Spurs. Uh, I was lucky to be like during like two, three days uh, with Manu Ginobili hearing his histories about the life more than the basketball and about how you have to understand the important thing of basketball but like we say the important thing of life uh carlos delfino is 30 at this moment 38 40 30. 40. Delfino. Wait, carlos, carlos is 40 delfino. yeah carlos he's still is 40, playing right he's yeah playing. he's still playing in italy and, and, yeah. and uh now he's not uh i think that he got some injuries and uh I they turned 40. yeah but <laughs> he, he was playing with the national team uh yeah. last fiba window too yes. and yeah. These players, especially a guy like Carlos, Carlos have seven surgeries on a foot. He was, seven yeah, he was hurt when he was playing for Houston Rockets, the foot and seven surgeries and he wanted to continue playing. And a lot of times when we got dinners and I learned a lot about the experience that they have about their coaches, because they remember a lot of things. Like, I remember with this coach that happened with this and always trying to take notes about, okay, what the players are thinking like are the good things sometimes to make them feel good and okay. honestly they have experience on the maximum level i mean uh, carlos delfino is olympic champion 
Pablo have uh, Spanish League caps, uh, bronze medal with Argentina, Thiago is NBA champion, uh, Marte wins some titles in Spain too, so they were on the top basketball. And it's good when they share with you the histories about the feelings that they have as a player, because I was not a professional player, but it helps me to understand how my players can feel. Oh, so the last question is that, do you have any expectation for the season? My expectation? Mm -hmm. Win next Sunday. I don't have more than that. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I, I'm, like, I'm really bad celebrating what happened before. I'm really bad looking for more than the next game. Like I say, that we have to enjoy the journey and we have to enjoy the moment and be focused more on the moment and trying to do the things that we have today, the things that are in our control, trying to do better. Very realistic. Because the show, show is just before the Chinese New Year. Mm -hmm. Can you use the Spanish to say the Chinese New Year to all, all of the, the fans? The, the Xin Jin Kuan Lo in uh, Spanish? Yes. Yeah, something uh, like that. Something like that. It's Feliz Año Nuevo. Say again? Feliz, Feliz, Feliz Año, Año, Año Nuevo. Nuevo. <笑>我知道我知道表演啊年纪大的时候表演啊年纪大的时候表演啊年纪大的时候表演啊年纪大的时候表演啊年纪大的时候表演啊年纪大的时候表演啊年纪大的时候表演啊年纪大的时候表演